We had a nice micro cap mover during today's session and it throws me back to the beginnings of Arca Bulls. The ticker is known for acquiring the red box company under the ticker RDBX. It had a nice run today and it looks like there could be more to come. Let's pop open the hood to see the potentials for the coming sessions. Welcome back to the channel on this Taco Tuesday. This is Arca and let's dive into the micro burst. Let's kill him team. What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel let's go ahead and make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel do everything necessary here to get this thing rolling and rolling right so let's go ahead and just dive into a couple of tickers here team but actually you know what before we do that let's go ahead and take a look at this yesterday's micro burst picks actually came up to ticker symbol let's see what what did we have ticker symbol sxtc so go ahead and take a look at this we spoke about a potential down uh downside here or we, you know we, we could have picked this up here right around this area at about 105 where we were talking about and we were looking at potential targets anywhere between 114 to about 124 with a focus area of about 119 so yeah we were able to pick it up right here at 105 and we got a top side of the price action at one dollar and 17 cents right here where you could mark the exit and that marked a 10.68 percent gainer on the day now we also spoke about ticker symbol nkgn so go ahead and take a look at here, right? So NKGN also could have been picked up right at this zone here at about $1.50. We had a range between $150 and about $146. And we had a top resistance anywhere between the areas of about $172 and $186. Okay, so that could have been picked up here at the entry and exit could have been there. A couple ways to have, to have uh, potentially played this, though. As you can see here, this was the pre-market time frame, right? We could have also picked it up at the very bottom side here and just gotten out right there. If you look at this, maybe like in a five-minute time frame, then that could have been uh, that could have been uh, you know pretty clear here, right? Here's the entry, uh, both entries, and you have the exit all the way to the top end. So if that would have been played here in the pre-market, you would have looked at a total gain on this of about uh, 27 spot, 37 percent. So now we played it down here though. So we had this entry at this level here. It could you could have removed all risk at this point before having to pull back almost the entire thing and then realizing the actual target. It did realize the target a few times throughout the day, you know, from the from what we were talking about. So the play that was actually done through this zone here up to this area here gave us about here we go. Let's just take a look at that. That was a 23 spot 92% gainer on the day. So pretty pretty nice there. So those were the two tickers from the micro burst of uh, micro burst from just yesterday. So let's go ahead and now move on to the next one here and see what we have. Right. So let's go ahead and talk about CSSE. And that's going to be chicken soup for the soul. And this was the ticker that we were talking about that had this uh, uh, that, that acquired the shares for uh, Redbox. Right. You remember you remember Redbox. It was that uh, that movie uh, renting uh, Redbox in the in, uh, you know, next to liquor stores and and. Uh, next to am pms and stuff right so yeah that's the that's the one so uh it looks like they had a pretty nice post market run here and that ran from 15 cents all the way up to 25 cents and let's just see what kind of a move that is and very strange that it did do that i'm not even sure why it did it but it moved a massive 70 spot 73 percent on the day before actually pulling back and still ending up in the day uh ending up in the post hours here it's still moving you can see here that's uh we still got about another uh, 37 minutes to go uh it, it's still at around 51 percent up so very curious very curious how this uh, ended up moving it does have a little bit of news here uh let's see so that's actually you know what no that's april 2nd we still don't have anything relevant here i know that it reported earnings i think uh, three days ago and it did have a miss so uh and curious that nothing really happened upon that miss on the earnings but uh, yeah, so let's take a look at continuation for this ticker here, right? So we're to do that, we're going to see the 15 minute time frame. So the 15 minute time frame is already kind of pivoted towards a potential upside. Let's go even shorter in, in our time. Five minute time frame looking for a pullback here. It definitely could uh, bring this uh, price action back to the areas of about 2108, even down into the inflection point of about 1954. OK, so we're going to go ahead and start drawing our levels just because, you know, that, that's the way we do things. So let's do 2108 to the bottom side of about 1954. 
as a potential uh, drawdown here and see how this uh, can move forward from here. So, in fact, yeah, it looks like the SMA 50 is located right, our, right at our discretionary level of, of the uh, 2108 level. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at the 10 minute time frame volatility versus momentum. Nice little upside pivot here entering the gravitational zone of the bull strength percentile. And it looks like we may start to shift volatility towards an upside. Remember that uh, contraction and volatility usually, usually happens uh, post market. So let's go ahead and take a look at the 15 minute time frame. And yeah, 15 minute time frame also getting a little bit of that upside pivot. Immediate short term time frame downside before a potential reaccumulation. So if we do reaccumulate here, let me take a look at some other signals to see if there's anything supported here. In fact, the bi hourly time frame is supported. Oh man, the three hour is supported. We have that massive expansion, huge upside on stochastics. Four hour time frame upside pivot, expansion happening. Yeah. Yeah, this thing uh, feels like it. Uh, yeah, six hour time frame upside pivot on both the uh, expansion and uh, stochastic momentum. Same with the eight hour and wow, and the 12 hour expanding too. My goodness, this thing does have multiple, multiple time frames of upside here. And it does show that it could continue for a couple days. If that really is the case, this thing could be, uh, let's see. Wow. Yeah, this thing could be up to uh, testing some t testing some other levels here, man. That's uh, that's pretty incredible. Uh, let's see. So there could be a potential gap up, uh, of course, right in the morning in the in the morning for the next trading session. Right now, in the eight hour time frame, it looks like it's resisting just at about that EMA two hundred. So let's see the twelve hour time frame. What what else what else can we get? Okay. So we have the SMA 200 on a daily time frame at about 37.22. I'm not going to lie. That feels like it, it could be a potential here. So let me, let me just go ahead and uh, mark off some areas of resistance right about here. There, there is a potential here that it could reach 35.34 to 40.17 with impulse. But if it doesn't have that impulse, then, you know, this uh, is going to take a few days to reach there if it does reach there okay so the stats here i'm measuring uh current uh let's see your daily atr is about yeah almost two cents but if we pull back to the 12 hour let's see what it let's see what it tells us right yeah it's uh it expanded just a little bit yeah no problem okay let me look at the 24 hour chart and see uh how that's expanding yeah the 24 hour chart is expanding to almost three cents in movement here so if we did open up somewhere around the 23 level you know that'll take us up to around 26 cents and the 26 cents would be marking off the uh, current high so yeah if we pull back to the four hour here and get rid of that 51 uh, percent thing this is 26 cents right at the top of the price action here so the, it's indicating that we could uh, go up to test that resistance again so I would like for you to be careful with these tickers when they already pump, right? Because sometimes they could, uh, they could just give it all back and then you could be stuck holding the bag. So please be careful here. Okay. But yeah, we have the uh, volatility and uh, momentum signals pointing up. All right. So everything is looking good. You know, the downside targets here, you know, the upside targets as well. And I urge you to be very careful. Now, if you want to learn how to trade just like this, if you want to learn how to, how to execute trades like this, so go ahead and reach out to me reach out to me right at arcmasterscourse at gmail.com and i'm actually getting ready uh i have already 160 master students okay you guys so i'm going to go ahead and get them ready for the strategies 8 to 12 week mentorship program but i am condensing my my uh beginners course i'm going to actually condense that to 4 to 5 weeks to get this to segue into the into the strategies mentorship so I urge you to give me a ring here and get this thing moving. All right, you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and sign off here. And I think this is a pretty good place to leave off. I love you all. Thanks for lifts. Thanks for listening. Please take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy, sell, or hold any assets whatsoever. Never, ever, never, never. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool, cool. But with that said, team, I wish you well. A very, very good rest of your night or day. Catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios.